Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Data Science University with Malvi Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Pandas Lead Code Type EZ 1571 Warehouse Manager. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram community for further updates and discussions. Scan here to join the community. The link is also provided in the description below. Now let's solve together the problem. Okay, they have given a warehouse table such that in warehouse there are some you can see here this is warehouse 1, this is warehouse 2, warehouse 3. Okay, in different different warehouses there have been different different products product 1, 2, 3, something etc. And how many units of them have been there it also been given. Okay, we know the products but what are the product details? This product details have been given in one more table. Products table where product ID product name, width, length, height of the everything has been given. Now what they are saying is, write a solution to report the number of cubic feet of volume the inventory occupies in each of the warehouse. Okay. So what we need to do here is, for example, let us come here. How much this product will occupy it is width into length into height. If a room is there with some width, some length and height, the volume of the room is what? Width into length into height. But there is no one product here. It is units into these things. So how these two tables are connected? First of all, using product ID. Let me combine them. Let me call df is equal to okay. How should I combine? Only matching rows. What is the common column? product ID product ID okay now we can see in which warehouse which product how many units width, length, height is there. Now, we want to know the volume of all the L house 1, all the L house 2, all the L house 3. So, to know the all the things, what we need to do? We need to group by these things and we need to do the sum of these total things. We don't know the in individual L house total volume, right? So, we can write it as width into length into height, the product volume into number of units. So, df volume equal to df units table into df width with the column df length I think it is w into df Okay, now we have the volume which is this one. Now what we need to do? Simply, simply group by the name and calculate the sum of volume. So, df dot group by the name column and do the volume column dot sum as it is grouped by index and resetting index to make it a data frame as they are asking to return it in a data frame now let us run okay so there is a mistake here what is the mistake okay they want to call it as warehouse name instead of name so dot rename columns is equal to what is the old name name what is the new name warehouse Okay, let me check for all the test cases. That's it guys. We have successfully solved the problem. So I will be explaining one more time. There are two tables. Warehouse table and the products table. 
they want to know for each warehouse what is the total amount of volume being expired so how can I say the number of units into the each products each individual volume each individual volume is what width into light and height total volume of that one will be units into these things after that one we want for grouping of each name so grouped by name and we did the sum of all the volumes reset it index change it the name and that's it voila we solved it hope it's clear for everyone if you want the code query which I have written here it will be available in this github repository where all the things will be uh, ordered serial number wise provided the lead code question number the category the URL of the lead code questions the YouTube link of the questions and also the github solution links okay you can check this repository in the description below okay you can check this and you can come here and you can fork this repository to make it yours okay if you're further interested in learning data analytics ml nlp cb or generative ai stuff please fill in this google form which is available in the description below i'll be reaching out to you soon if you're preparing for data science interviews do check out my playlist it will be greatly helping your interview process if you have any questions regarding the problem which you have solved please use this hashtag in the comment section i will try to solve your queries and in the meantime keep learning guys